Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh ideas from Miniart. It is molded in 135 scale and it's a kit number 37051, it copies T54 early transmission set and we have a commercial sample here so it might be handy uh, for your next tank build and you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review, it means that this is actually the final version of this this kit and it is quite interesting that here for example you can see that uh, Miniart included list of the uh, Miniart models which can be used with this engine so as you can see all T54, T-Run and also SLA APC kits so this is a quite interesting offering so we have a chance to check it together with you. First of all, boxing is typical for this brand. You can see the parts which are included into the kit on the box art. Here you can see comparison with my hand. Next, on the side we have some safety information and address of the manufacturer. And on the opposite side you can find some kits which can be used with this uh, set with transmission set so we reviewed them all and you can find it easily on our youtube channel by typing the kit number into the search so this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside all sprues are packed together into this one plastic bag it's sealed plastic bag and we have assembly manual on the bottom as usual we are going to start with plastic parts first and then gradually we will move on to other things which are supplied in this kit so just give me a second and from what i can see there are plenty of parts and it's really surprising for such kit i mean you would expect maybe one two sprues in the kit of this type but here we have a um, really impressive amount i would say around five sprues and we are going to start with the biggest one so it is dedicated to all main elements on this transmission set let's open the camera a bit so that it won't be that dark and what i can see is that molding quality is really nice but we have some thin pipings here so you will have to be careful with them and now we can zoom in even further so that you can see these parts a bit in a zoomed way so as i said molding quality seems to be fine but though this thin parts they will require due care because otherwise you end up with broken parts or maybe you can completely replace them with a metal wire it will be quicker and easier way to get everything into the right condition here we continue with various parts for the drivetrain and i like how these parts are detailed we have a lot of rivets and um, nuts here and by the way here you can see this radiator fan which is molded as a single piece part and it looks beautiful as well okay so let's zoom out and what is next next we have smaller plastic sprue it's notably smaller than what we had before so here we have various structure panels for this transmission set again everything looks fine so i don't think i don't have anything to complain about and here you can check these parts from the opposite side next we continue with some parts for the i think that's the right side of this transmission set as you can see these are large one piece elements so you won't have to waste your time trying to align separate parts together everything comes in the right shape you just have to cut it off the plastic sprue and you will be good to go by the way note the attachment points placement so even though they're uh, more or less fine here but here you have to be careful in order not to damage these angles and the same applies to this section here which is quite narrow so it's maybe better to use the plastic saw straight away just to avoid any accidental issues now we also have a lot of thin and small parts on the separate sprue here this is a really tricky stuff to work with so it will be a funny thing to apply all of them and by the way there are two sprues of this type i will show it in a second so here you can see it the small proof okay next we have again 
some minor elements which will be installed here and there so here we have various covers and also panels for this transmission set nothing special in a good sense because everything is molded in a clean way and i think it will be easy to get it into the right spot and what's really interesting is that as you remember we reviewed recently uh, several fresh releases um, in figures from Minyard they had some flesh around the parts even around big parts but here we have completely clean parts this is really unusual in my opinion and I wonder I still wonder what is the cause behind this because it's uh, it looks strange and the final plastic sprue is dedicated to external panels for this transmission set so let's zoom in again note the external features on these parts they look really nice all these ribs they deserve uh, some careful painting and weathering because otherwise it would be a shame to get such kit and uh, finish it with some basic uh, painting and also with some basic weathering and of course it would be a wise idea to show it somehow on your kit on your tank because um, again why would you get this kit and then just close it inside so as for the assembly manual frankly speaking i was expecting something smaller so you can see it's a relatively thick brochure and it is printed in color and it's smaller format than a typical miniard brochure but it's finished in the standard style so we have list of the compatible let's say kits with this transmission set and here we have let's call it the marking guide we also have colors chart next comes the parts map and as usual miniard does not show which parts are unused so be careful with that keep track of what you should use here and there and here we have some important information so how to assemble the engine compartment on your tank it might be even more handy and more important for these kits which are supplied as version without interior and frankly speaking i'm not sure why the interior kits are also mentioned as a compatible versions because they include the engine out of the box so maybe you can use this one in order to show it outside the tank maybe who knows but you can see that assembly process is quite or installation sequence is more or less understandable but be sure to follow it because otherwise you won't be able to fit all these parts into the engine compartment but assembly process starts with a radiator fan so as you can see it will get installed into this one piece parts which we saw before next we continue with this special stands for the engine and next we assemble the transmission so here you have to combine these two halves and then install a lot of minor elements on it and next we have brake drums so that's where these thin brackets will go next you assemble the radiators so there are also some assembly options depending on the tank version you choose pay attention to that so that you have the right version in your model and here we have installation process for t54 slash one i wonder why it is shown separately i guess in some other kits it will be completely different because here you can see all the steps for this particular version of the tank and we still continue with the same tank oh so you can see that kit number changes so be sure to use the right instructions because as you can see all these instructions are for the kits number 37004 and next we continue with uh, so we have kit T54-3 which is also issued as a SLA APC with a dozer blade which we reviewed as well so here you have a slightly different assembly sequence and you use uh, different type of the parts really interesting and well i'm glad that we have at least it mentioned in form of this large title which is difficult to miss i hope you won't miss it either and here we end with the installation sequence for the t54-3 so again we have uh, related items for this kit as i said before they are all reviewed in our uh, youtube channel so you can find even this kit 
And as for the whole release, it should be already available. You can get it in any good model shop, for example, in Modelimix. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.